Thanks for the good question, Ashley. This is actually really funny timing because an article just came out about this. But the Tdap is, at least in my opinion, really important during pregnancy. And the reason for that is that the Tdap is not a vaccine for you, it's a vaccine for the baby. Sometime around 2011, 2012, the whooping cough, which is what the P part of the Tdap covers, had a resurgence. And what we noticed is that babies within the first month of life, before they got their own vaccine at two months, four months, and six months, before they had an immune system, were dying from this. And so we recommended that pregnant people get the whooping cough vaccine in pregnancy so that they could pass some protective factors down onto the baby. And we were hoping that this would then decrease the risks of babies dying in the first month of life. Now, that new article that I just talked about just came out and proved essentially that the rate of death within the first month of life from the whooping cough has plummeted as a result of getting this vaccine. So highly recommend it. Again, very few side effects. Most of the side effects are things like local irritation, pain from the injection site, maybe feeling a little under the weather for a day or two. This vaccine actually came out way before COVID. Um, it has acellular pertussis, which is essentially a dead piece of the whooping cough in it. So it's recommended that people get this at any time after 27 weeks. It's also recommended that anyone who's going to interact with a baby within the first month get theirs. Now, this is something that a lot of doctors confuse, but adults only need to get one booster in their entire life. Um, the tetanus part of this shot, because this is tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, needs to be given every 10 years. But the pertussis part only needs to be given once. So if they haven't already gotten it as an adult, they should get it. If they have already gotten it with somebody else's baby, they don't need to get it again. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.